Hello. Oh, nice I, I worked there. Really, I didn't remember that. Uh, you did that too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the owners of the building were incredible. They came over. And I was like, usually I would ask permission to paint on a building, uh -huh. uh, but I didn't know who owned the place, you know? And yeah. they're like, thank you so much for painting here. Uh -huh. And they brought drinks, uh, like uh, water every day. And the people here in the Abaco Marsh Harbor have been wonderful. You know, just waiting for something beautiful to see after such destruction. Yeah, well, Africa, Mars, Africa, they're unique. Very, yeah. Very. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, very they're into rebuilding, and, yeah. and that's why we're convinced that Africa would rebuild. Um, yeah, um, very quickly. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, well, cool. It's nice to meet you. So you painted right. this? Yeah. I'm what's your What's your name? Benjamin Suarez. So why why'd you do it? Why'd you do that here? We have like a little organization called the Goodness Tour, music and art for people facing adversity. So we were in Puerto Rico right after the hurricane, sharing music and art and uh, refugee camps and war zones and stuff. And I was in Florida tying up my sailboat thinking that the hurricane was going to hit Florida. And when it stalled out over uh, Abaco and all over the Bahamas, I said, well, we just need to get there, you know, and, and to be able to bring a little bit of beauty that we can using like art and music as a psychosocial support. And this spot being this such like a high trafficked area, it felt that, uh, you know, that takes a lot of like strong labor to make a difference with all the rubble, but also a reminder of the, the Divine Mother that brings like the grace and the love and the compassion and patience, you know, because there's a lot of hardships and with the trauma it's easy to overreact and, and not really respect one another but everybody that I met here has been like so warm and welcoming and I mean bringing coffee and sharing good inspiration but what's most important I think for me is that uh, I don't come in with an idea of like what I'm going to paint I always will talk to the people and interact and engage do art classes with the kids and then from that like the symbols emerge from the actual culture rather than imposing something from outside you know so I think the greatest compliment that we receive is that people think the Bahamian has painted that because that's, that's the intention is that it's with the people, for the people. It's not like a, an outsider, it's everybody together. So. I just thought of Bahamian painting. I didn't realize it was done after the storm. Yeah, so My thought was yeah. the opposite of the My uh, thought when we first came through was after the storm was, oh, that survived. I didn't realize it was new. So yeah. thank you so very much. <laughs> for having us like it's an honor to be here okay so thank you very Thanks. much take care yourself sure. hey nice to meet you sir. very nice to meet you beautiful work thank you thank you very much